Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we're still on the do-it-yourself series. And uh, it wasn't that many years ago that I tested a machine for you guys. A question came out, can you TIG weld proficiently with a Harbor Freight $199 welding unit or welding system? So we went down and bought one, and it didn't weld very good. Uh, it welded. You know, so if your budget is $199, then, you know, it's one of those things you get what you pay for. But we keep trying, we keep looking, and I want to go back in history a little bit. Lincoln Electric made a buzz box called an ACDC buzz box. Now, not just the AC. And we were able to take the DC side of that and plug it into 110 and make it work. Yeah, so we created a TIG torch kit and a regulator, everything you needed to be able to, to TIG weld. Now, 20 years ago, the cost of the machine and the accessories was over $500. And I still get calls about that today. So through the evolution of inverters, here's what's happened. Power supplies have gotten smaller, cheaper, better. Uh, and I found a power supply that I wanted to test and show you how you can get started for under $300. And that's amazing. I just, I can't believe it. So what I've got here is I've got a suitcase that has a machine that if you've never welded before, it's probably the best way to get started. $296, I think is what it goes for. So let me open it up and explain what it is and what you get for that price. Cause I'm gonna demonstrate it uh, and either give it a thumbs up or, or thumbs down. So it comes in a little carrying case, kind of like my travel case. Open it up, and it's just got a, a, a little power supply. Now, this obviously uh, is for that stick welding process, and we're going to test it and see if it, it, it does a good job or not. Heavy-duty heavy duty accessories, and that's what's pretty amazing, because usually you don't get heavy-duty accessories. This is a ground clamp. This is a 200-amp ground clamp. Uh, this is a 200-amp uh, stick electrode holder. And this, we're taking out of the case for the first time. So bear with me and I'll, uh, I'll get all the, all the packaging out of the way. Okay, so little power supply. I've got all the literature on it here. Anyway, this power supply, it, it only weighs about 10 pounds, maybe 11 tops, but uh, I had one similar to that that I, I weighed just a few weeks ago. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to put this all together, and I'm going to put the stick electrode holder on, uh, pick out some electrode. i got two different types, so uh, I'm going to test out one that's called a, a 6011, and I'm going to test out one that's a 7018 and see what the difference is. Be with you shortly. Okay, I've, I've got a 1 8 inch E6011 stick rod in here, and you know I remember this from the farm. It, uh, it helped me weld up rusty metals and galvanize and things like that. But what I also remember was it, it's not as easy to use. It doesn't flow quite as nice, but it certainly gets in there and, and fixes things. This rod will run off AC or it'll run off DC positive. So this is a DC machine only. So I went ahead and put it on DC positive. Now, I also remember that the technique that you use on this is that the arc won't stay established very well. It tries to go out, so you gotta run a pretty tight arc and stay right on it. So, uh, been, a, been a lot of years since I've used E6011, so we're gonna, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do E6011 and E7018 and just compare the difference. So, uh, here goes. After the arc started, I found that I just had to keep the rod in there to keep it going. And it's got a slag on it. I'm going to chip off here in just a minute. I also remember the slag not coming off real easy. So uh, I'm going to uh, shut the machine off. 
I got my little farming fencing hammer. Uh, most people would use a chipping hammer, but uh, you got to use what you've got on the farm. So let me, let me get my uh, safety gear on. I've got to get some eye protection. And let's see what this looks like when I'm chipping it off. Okay, and, and as I remember, the slag doesn't come off real easy. Um, it welded nicely. I mean, I could I could see it wet out, and and uh, I could see I could see it penetrate into the root there. So certainly, uh, your all-purpose rod out there on the farm works great. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same test, except I'm going to put E7018. I'll put that in there, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I just welded this uh, six inch weld with E7018. It's a Lincoln rod, it says Excalibur on it. And uh, I'm running at about 100 amps. You know, I just ran E6011, I ran it at about 100, maybe even a little bit less, just because the rod was 1 8 This is, this is 332, uh, and this just ran smooth. Uh, if you've never stick welded before, just put this in and run with it because it's just beautiful, it's gorgeous. Uh, Arc starting was real easy. I didn't have to worry too much about uh, sticking it. But I can look and see that it's got such a nice flux layer over the top. And I'm just going to tap it. And it's just, I mean, it's just amazing stuff. Uh, so, you know, I did the E6011. And again, that's the, that's the farm use type uh, uh, rod. <laughs> we call it mud rod sometimes. The 7018, it just runs so easy. Uh, you know, it, it takes an average welder, it makes them look good. So uh, anyway, kudos to Lincoln for coming out with that rod. Okay, this is the uh, E7018. Uh, just as you can see, it just ran beautiful. Uh, this one right here was the E6011, and it still ran good. It's just uh, it challenges your skills a little bit, and I guess your machine, but uh, does the job. You'll notice a lot more spatter here versus here. So uh, it's kind of your, your call on it. Just uh, see what kind of machine you have. And if you have this, this runs off of 110 only. So uh, I did, uh, you know, overlapping 1 8 inch steel plates. So it'll do a little bit heavier. I wouldn't go much heavier. I think quarter would probably be the maximum that you're going to get with this. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, go ahead and clean this all up and show you what you get with this machine for, for $296. Be right back. Okay, this is part one of a part two part series. The power supply comes with this. The stick electrode comes with it. Heavy duty ground clamp comes with it. Here's a, a couple of adapters for the front of the machine. The case comes with it. So if you want to get into welding, 296 bucks. You can see the welds that I did with it. Uh, thing performed well. Uh, I have a 15 amp circuit and it just does the job. It's hard to believe. As, as miniature as it is, convenient, it looks good, it's built good. I, I can't even compare it to some of the previous ones that I've tested, so I got to give them a thumbs up. So uh, this, is a, this is a TIG machine, however, I just tested it on stick. It still gets a good thumbs up. So stay tuned for part two and how to TIG weld with this. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.